There are many of you that have seen my post on social media about Licensed to Live, the conference. Many people have been asking questions. What is it like? Who is it for? Who will be there? Is it live? Keep listening for these answers and more in this episode of Licensed to Live. Welcome to the Licensed to Live show, where professionals, doctors, champions, VIPs, attorneys, and those in public office discover strategies that help you restart and gain what is lost when you find yourself accused. If another has doubted your integrity, questioned your credentials, or caused your actions to come under scrutiny, you are in the right place. On the other hand, if you have never felt the knot in the pit of your stomach when legal papers are served, the heartbreak of disappointing your family when the lock clicks shut on handcuffs, or had to appear before a board of review, then be aware, the longer you serve, the more likely you are to find yourself under the microscope of those who judge. Prepare yourself for this uncomfortable possibility. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jarrett Patton. Emmett Hayes III Coffee Company, EH3, specializes in selecting 100% Arabica coffee beans from distinct coffee growing regions across the globe. EH3 Coffee Company offers an exclusive brand of organic coffee beans and blends. All coffee products are craft roasted to perfection, which yields consistency and quality, taste, and optimal flavor. EH3's quest is to create an evolutionary coffee experience for every single customer, every single time. Get your coffee today at emmitscoffee.com. That's E-M-M-I-T-T-S-C-O-F-F-E-E.com. If you are a professional struggling to make sense of the recent uncertainties within our nation, frustrated with pay cuts, extended shifts, or lacking the willpower to take on more responsibilities, join us for Licensed to Live, the conference, a live conference virtually on Saturday, July 25th, 2020. If you're seeking enlightenment in these dark times, join us for conversations of hope, inspiration, and motivation to ignite your career into the passion you desire. Listen to a full panel of talented, award-winning, and prestigious speakers full of advice, knowledge, and insight you need to push through these difficult times. License to Live, the conference, is a live virtual kickstart for anyone in need of a reboot or refresh at any stage in their career. Sign up now at LicensedToLive.com, L-I-C-E-N-S-E-D-T-O-L-I-V-E.com. For my regular listeners, today's episode is a little different because it introduces License to Live, the conference. First off, people have been asking why I decided to host a conference. I won't lie. This is something that I never thought of and I never thought I would do just a few short years ago. At best, I thought I would just continue to travel around the country speaking on stages and conference after conference, spreading my message one stage at a time. I really love to speak in front of live audiences, so why didn't I think that my future would actually contain a conference of my very own in which other people can share their voices? In the beginning, I was a bunch of nerves thinking about the idea. Who am I to do something like this? I've never done something like this before. I'm scared. What if nobody comes? I had a variety of emotions surrounding this decision, and I was dragging my feet initially. This was me stepping into unchartered waters. I'm a first timer. I had to push myself to move forward. I pulled my team together and said, this is what we will do. We are going to host a conference. Some members were live within my office. Others were on Zoom. I wasn't sure what their response would be, but it surprised me. They were so excited about the opportunity. They were like, it's about time. And they were ready to make this become a reality. That made me excited and I was ready to go. There was even one response from a staff member that said, when can we do a pediatric conference? <laughs> I said, whoa, whoa, I had to slow down on that one. But their enthusiasm was infectious. 
That led me to determine that a one-day conference would be perfect. However, what would be the approach? What would people learn? Which one of my super friends would be available? We worked feverishly on the program, thinking of bigger and better ideas every single day. This led me to think of the theme and title of the conference, License to Live, the conference. But of course, we have been in various stages of lockdown with the pandemic for months, and a live in-person event just wouldn't be feasible at this time. However, a virtual stage could be open. I want the attendees of this program to be inspired, to be encouraged, to strengthen their voices, to learn common pitfalls of being a physician that often gets taken advantage of, quite frankly. And of course, I want them, that means you, you too, to be licensed to live. From there, I began thinking about who would be joining me on stage. I thought that especially during a time when people are getting pay cuts, losing jobs, or forced to work in unsafe working conditions, we should begin with the wellness and purpose. This is why I brought Dr. Sam Price, a naturopathic physician who specializes in wellness and hosts her own event, The Vital Experience. She's a best-selling author and speaks internationally on the importance of taking care of you. I knew she would be the perfect person to kick things off. While ensuring yourself to be physically fit for the challenge of making a change in your life, taking a look at your purpose in life is important too. This is why we brought in Dr. Brad Ballard for the conference. He's an elite coach and author for the purpose clarity. Often we start off on an adventure thinking we know what we wanted, but somewhere along the way we get off that path and get lost. Once we get lost, we need a little help finding our destination. This is where we realign our purpose with our career. When there's a mismatch, along comes that frustration, that dreading to go to work, that feeling that you're like, oh, I need to be doing something different. Well, Dr. Brad will be here to help us focus and clarify our purpose. Once we are thinking and feeling our best, we can really start to reclaim some of what was lost. Once upon a time, doctors were looked to for their thoughts, their opinions, and leadership. Over time, physicians have been placed in the eh, just shut up and keep doctoring category. Now, quite often, we are left to churn away and produce lots of our views without even asking for our opinion. When we see something wrong and speak up, we may lose our jobs or take pay cuts or be put on blasts in the public light. The next block of this conference is set up to strengthen your voice. This is the part where I've brought in three national experts in their field, and they will share their expertise and in, in what they've learned. First up, we have Dr. Centrell Crawford, a psychiatrist with an addiction medicine interest, an author, and a podcast host. She discusses sharing her voice through her latest film, Us vs. the Plant, a docufilm about medical marijuana. As a filmmaker, we learn about sharing our voices on the big screen. Next up, we have Dr. Need Darko, a board-certified trauma surgeon and podcast host of Docs Outside the Box. His top 100 Apple podcast has been sharing his voice for years. He shows us how to stand up, speak up, and speak out while using our voices as doctors. He'll be on stage discussing ways in which podcasting has changed his life and his career. Then coming on stage will be the chief of the SOMI docs, Dr. Donna Coriel. She's an internist, a creative, and a social media expert. She uses her time on stage to encourage us to be a louder voice collectively through the use of social media. Personally, about four years ago, I didn't even have a social media account. I couldn't understand it. I thought there was no use for it other than posting funny pictures or keeping everyone up to date on your grocery store run. <sighs> Social media also led to my license to live moment, which is a whole nother reason I had an aversion to it. But Dr. Coriel will be here to guide us through her story and we learn more about social media and how it can be used for the good. Tell your story or the story of the many that you represent through social media. Then I make a return to the stage at this point to help show how books can boldly strengthen your voice and your message. I will guide you through the writing process and show you how to publish your first book. Besides just becoming an author, I will show you how to write your own book 
and you can put it on an upward trajectory leads to so many more opportunities. We'll finish up this block with the official License to Live Daily Affirmations to Rebuild Your Life book launch. Finally, it's here and we're doing it live on stage at the conference. I'm super excited about this. In fact, my early registrants already received a copy of that very paperback. They're starting their affirmations already. Did someone say lunch? Well, I guess since we're at a virtual conference, I couldn't provide a virtual lunch. So we just keep rolling all throughout the day, nonstop. So bringing on the afternoon sessions, we feature a briefing on better management of finances with Dr. Jen MD. She's a surgeon and author and a personal finance expert. She tells her tale of the importance of keeping your finances in order through a real life challenge she experienced. Next up, we all have Dr. Stephanie Freeman, another best-selling author and an intensivist. She will show us how to live our best clinical lives on our own terms by living la vida locums. She tells of her personal journey to understanding how locum tenens can be a wonderful lifestyle choice where you remain in complete control. Dr. Bonnie Simpson Mason, she comes to the stage as a former surgeon and tells of her journey starting multiple companies and a nonprofit. Additionally, she walks us through some of the common pitfalls found within standard physician contracts. If you're not careful, the stipulations that come in your contracts will keep you handcuffed to a position you no longer want. See, we're getting practical actionable advice in this conference. You're going to be inspired by the stories of each one of these people on stage. And then I come back and I share my story on how I became licensed to live in the first place. This is the unabridged version. This is the version you don't hear unless I'm on stage somewhere. So you guys will get this story through my personal story and the tips I learned within the presentation will help you to become licensed to live. Then we wrap up the day with a panel discussion with a couple of the nation's experts in diversity and inclusion. Dr. Bonzo Reddick and Nurse Talanda Rogers give us their take on diversity, inclusion, and health equity. And they talk about their passion for this subject matter, which led to a completely different business venture. If you made it to this point, you must be thinking, that sure is a lot of stuff for one day. (laughs) Well, it is. And that was one of the most difficult decisions I was faced with, really to limit the amount of speakers and prevent this thing from turning into a 24-hour marathon. But I know that after attending this day-long event, you will leave inspired, refreshed, energized, and empowered. Get your tickets now at licensedtolive.com. So if you happen to be listening to this podcast after July 25th, 2020. I'll put the details on the replay. They'll be in the show notes. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time. No matter how disheartening the moment of accusation sounds, how deep the pain of immobilization stabs, or how bleak your future looks, no one can take away your license to live. Keep Dr. Jarrett's expertise handy and unlock your future. Go to Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or another podcast player and subscribe right now to Licensed to Live. See you next time.